This time on Emily and Clark's adventure, I jump in for one final dive at Linyard Key. Then it's a short trip up the Abacos to Hopetown on Elbow Key, where Clark helps a boater in need, and we enjoy some more time with friends on our 16-day journey from the Bahamas back to Florida. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Clark. We opted out of a typical American life to live more independently, frugally, and off the grid. We currently travel the world on our antique sailboat named Temptress. We make videos to capture our memories, inspire others, and show you the rewards and challenges of living this way. This, this is, is our intentional, intentional life. life. After a quick dive, it's time to make our way north. Today we head for Hope Town on Elbow Key. Engine won't start. Started pulling out and stopped it to fix the tachometer. Now the tachometer's probably working, but the engine won't start. Oh, no problem. I bumped the kill switch. It died in a way it certainly shouldn't have died. That's what bothered me. Okay. Hit it, I'll go read it. Our patrons recently asked for more sailing and travel footage, so here you go. Moving the boat isn't always exciting or fast paced. Today we only have 15 miles to go, it should take about three and a half hours. Sailing with a motor will put us in Oakdown just before sunset.
when we see the Hopetown Lighthouse, we roll up the sails and get ready to anchor. Emily's been taking a more active role in managing the sails, in preparation for longer journeys to come. Hurricane season has begun, so not only do we see the lighthouse twinkling at night, but we've got some thunder and lightning this week, too. Between three to six knots. As always, watch these temperatures this week. Uh, they will uh, rise to highs of 90 degrees, so stay hydrated, put that sunscreen on. And you might see a little relief of uh, patchy rain possible Friday morning, but mostly sunny Friday afternoon with east-southeast to southeasterly winds at about 8 to 10 knots. Then again, some rain possible Friday night and partly cloudy skies into Saturday. Clark is talking to somebody on the net this morning who's having issues with their air conditioner. It has a slow leak and needs to be recharged. So Clark is looking to see if we have the right stuff and maybe we can help him out. Okay, I've got one of the adapters. Um, so assuming it's like a normal 410 system, um, geez, I don't know if we're going to be good or not. Uh, your, the, your gas itself is... Is that a quarter 20 flare? I mean, a quarter flare, uh, do, do you understand what that means? Um, yes, I do. Let me go down in the, the engine room and double check that. Um, I'll let you know. Give me a couple minutes. Carl, this is Nick. Carl. Clark here. Clark, I'm sorry. No worries. Um, I have this bottle here, and I can't quite tell if it's a quarter 20 or not. Well, it sounds like you're fairly close. We'll just bop over there. Um, so, uh, how big is this powerboat? What, what am I looking for? I don't know if it's a powerboat. Uh, we're, we're the only one on the other side of the island, so we're an 80-footer. Okay, that should be easy to find. And um, we're, right we're around all day, so... Want to go now? Any, any time at your convenience, so um, I truly appreciate your assistance. Yeah, no worries. We'll take off right now. You'll probably see us pretty soon if we can find you. Uh, we'll take a handheld and use 68 if we get lost. Sounds good. I'll be standing by at 68. Thanks so much. 68. Okay. Right. So, it looks like Clark will be doing a little bit of work this morning. It's a hot sunny day outside, inside the engine room is even worse. Um, it, it's pretty sure it's leaking there though, we should just give it all another stove. Okay. Um, and it doesn't feel, I mean, it still has some. And I'm going to need uh, probably an Allen wrench. Let me check. Nope, it's going to be a little... I don't usually do uh, this kind of valve because you know, mostly it's refrigeration. Right. So I gotta remember how this valve works. After some work, 
It's time to play. It turns out our friends Dan and Yvette are just around the corner. decided to invite Dan and Yvette over for some games tonight. So after lunch, Emily tidies up. Hey Emily, what are you doing? Washing the dishes. And the and floor. The floor. <laughs> <laughs> it all goes in the bilge as long as it's clean. Next time on Emily and Clark's Adventure, we go ashore in Hopetown to visit the last kerosene-burning manned lighthouse in the world and take a look around this adorable town as it was before Hurricane Dorian, full of colorful little houses, flowers, and shopping. I'm going to get ice cream! Haha, <laughs> that's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs>